Hi, Ben. How are you? Hi. It's so nice to meet you. You as well. So uh, now that the show is out, it's the number one trending show. It's super popular, super successful. What's the uh, reaction been like? Yeah, it's been great. So, uh, you know, we waited a long time for it to come out. We finished making the, the, the filming part of it over a year ago. And um, we've all been anxiously emailing each other and having Zooms over the last year. Like, when, when's it going to come out? So now that it is finally out, it's great to have this reaction to it. Mm -hmm. And what's been the reactions like to Johnny in particular? Uh, you would probably know better than me, but um, I think... Uh, I think, you know, without, without giving too much of a spoiler away that uh, people are invested in uh, what happens to Johnny, particularly towards the end of the season. Yeah. Do you get a lot of, is he okay? <laughs> yeah, lots yeah. of that. <laughs> and the answer is, I really don't know. The answer is, I don't know. So, uh, right. <laughs> so. Yeah. Right. In the book, he's but... okay. <laughs> right. So you can kind of tell people that, right? <laughs> Yeah, but also I'm very much disliked by the producers and writers, so they probably use this as an opportunity to get rid of me. That was a joke. I was going to say, you're saying that very publicly. I don't think that I'm disliked, but I guess we'll find out in season two. So have you heard anything if there's going to be a season two? No, I haven't. Okay, I have to ask. Yeah. Wish I could, wish I could be the one to, to give you the breaking news, but no, I think we'll probably know something by the end of the month. Oh, yeah, because the numbers are amazing. It's getting a lot of yeah. viewers. Yeah. Yeah, so it's great. Think with it's all great. the cliffhanger endings, people want more. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be a demand, which is great for us. And uh, uh, you know, Netflix, who knows what their their, their ways, their whys, and wherefores, but. Um, you know, they don't throw good money after bad. They're very, you know, after the season, if it's not doing well, they'll just pull the, pull the pin on it. They don't care. So um, I think we've probably done well enough, I think, to get a second season, but I'm just an actor. So you had worked with Sarah and Catherine before, Sarah on a pilot years ago, and then Catherine on Doubt. So what was right. it like? What were your memories like working with them before? And what are your this memories... Like so now. great, so positive. Uh, I love both of those girls. Um, Sarah and I, yeah, worked together a long time ago, like 10 or 11 years ago. Um, and she just had her little boy. She was like still like feeding like behind this, you know, like behind the set. Um, we were on a soundstage and she would like go off to feed Charlie and then come, I mean, and now her, now her son is like grown, growing, but, um, and Katie and I worked together on Doubt, yeah, which is what, 2016, so five years ago. And, you know, both, it was just a really nice reunion for me to, to see them both again and they love each other, they get on super well. You know, I love them, the cast, the cast is all very social and kind of, we hang out a lot with the, the producers and um you know directors on weekends so there's there's a lot of like you know good good chemistry i think that probably yeah. translates onto the screen mm -hmm. and sarah was saying she really loved all the wigs did you like working with the wigs did you have a favorite I did, wig actually. yeah 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 well i only have one wig but i liked it it's you know it's it's labor intensive not for me but for my for my <laughs> Terry, my wonderful wig guy. Um, he, um, yeah. So you know, we get you get quicker at putting it on and taking it off after five months. But um, yeah, no, it was it's it's dress ups, right? Like it's like acting so fun because you just get to dress up and and you know put on hair and makeup and clothes and then it, it's just ridiculous. So it's uh, I, you know I enjoy that aspect. And you have some super powerful scenes, of course. Did you have a favorite one to shoot? Um, ah, oh, wow, my favorite scene to shoot. Oh, you know, I just love all the stuff at KPOC. So when we're, we're in the, the bullpen and the kind of the, the office there in the 80s, all the stuff there in my office, um, in the conference room, I love all that stuff. I love working at that set. It's close to where I was living as well. So um, easy for me to get to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that stuff. <laughs> What was it like filming in Vancouver? Was it good I love experience? Vancouver. Yeah. I love it. And I look, and I, you, I know you're in Toronto. I liked Toronto. 
Toronto, um, but I really uh, have enjoyed Vancouver. I, I, I think, uh, yeah, I've, I really enjoyed the city of Vancouver a lot. Um, it's, yeah, it sort of is familiar to me. I think there's something a little bit more, I don't know, sort of reminds me a lot of where I'm from. It's the same size as Brisbane, you know, 600,000 people just in the set in central Vancouver, but then in the, in the greater Vancouver, including like Richmond and Surrey and stuff, it's like whatever it is, 1.3, 1.6 or something. And that's like the same size as my, um, as my uh, home city of Brisbane. Mm. So something, something about it that I like. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so tell me about some of your favorite downtime or behind the scenes memories from filming. Um, oh, I mean, we always like this, you know, Sarah is never not funny. You know, Sarah's like constantly, I've like never seen her in a bad mood. I've never seen her, you know, even stressed out, but um, she's, she's just hilarious. So she's, all, whenever Sarah's on set, everyone's laughing. Um, so yeah, or any behind the scenes stuff, particularly like the four of us, you know, Sarah, uh, Katie, and then Brendan who plays Mutt. <clears throat> so when, we, when we're when like out, you know, getting the get, getting the story, um, that stuff's all fun. I think I probably am like a, a frustrated journalist on some level. In another life, I, I might've been a journalist. And you have a great comedy background. You've worked on some amazing comedy shows, The Good Place, um, Dollface, I mean, designated survivors and so much a comedy, but there's some funny people <laughs> on it. So much, yeah. <laughs> so, are there people that you've worked with in the past that you'd love to work with again? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, the Good Place was is great. Like every person on that show is amazing, and uh, I was only there for a few episodes, but I loved every second of it. So yeah, um, you know, yeah, Dollface was great. I had a great time on Dollface. You know, I've yeah, I've been lucky to to work on some um, really great shows in in a small capacity. But um, you know, um, I worked with um, speaking of Designated Survivor, I worked with Michael J. Fox on that show. Pardon me, he was on Designated Survivor when I was on there, um, but we didn't have any scenes together. But he's my kind of like idol. So yeah, I would say if I got to work with him again, that would be. Mm -hmm. Great Canadian. We love him. He is. He is a great. He's a BC boy. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say the producers decide they do like you. They do want you to stay on. What are your hopes for Johnny in season two? Um, you know, I'd like to see Johnny and Kate continue their relationship. We we at the end of season one, we sort of see them kind of come back together. So um, I'd like to see what happens with with them with with Kate and Johnny and I also want to see Kate um Kate's career kind of take off again you know she she sort of put her life on hold to raise a family and um uh, and we sort of see at the end of season one we're teased that she she might have a shot at um at producing again so I think that's really interesting mm -hmm. and so everybody's binge watching this show what have you been watching lately <laughs> by, by lane um <laughs> did you know what i've actually been watching rick and morty which is another show that sarah chalk is in um and i'm super late to it i'm embarrassed to say that i've never seen it i've never properly seen it before so i've, I've been watching a lot of rick and morty mm -hmm. well thank you so so much for your time i really appreciate it i hope there's another season of firefly lane hope to see more of you in future projects thank you thank you for your thank time. thank you so much it's lovely to chat thank you have a great day <laughs> Thanks, Celia. Bye.